when you own what they own, you are the homie. But when you become more successful, you become the enemy. Understand what I'm saying? Shout out to the WTC family. You guys got to pay attention. When you guys all on the same thing, when you guys have the same mindset, when you guys have the same goals, when you guys hanging out every day, oh yeah, you the homie for sure. But as soon as God level you up, as soon as God isolates you, as soon as God separates you from these people and level you up, you become the enemy. You become the op, the totally opposite. Let me tell you something. It's levels to this shit, y'all. And if you guys ain't ready out here, guess what? People gonna turn on you and people gonna fall by the wayside. You gotta tell these people goodbye. Because let me tell you something. A real friend gonna be there to the end. Understand what I'm saying? A real friend gonna have your back no matter what. I need everybody to comment 1111 right now because I'm going in like the yin yang twins. I need everybody to share this video. I need everybody to like and I need everybody to subscribe to this channel because I'm going in like the yin yang twins, baby. What's up? Shout out to YouTube. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity. Shout out to the WTC gang. We the chosen ones, baby. Let me tell y'all something. When you own what they own, Oh, they're going to give you all the recognition that you need. They're going to give you all the compliments that you need when you own what they own. If y'all both work at that Taco Bell, guess what? Y'all both going to go to the same club that same night. Understand what I'm saying? Y'all both work at Target, guess what? Y'all both go to the same club when it only costs $10 to get in that same night. Understand what I'm coming from. But if y'all homeboy work at Target... And you become an entrepreneur You got your own business Guess what's going to happen Homeboy ain't going to want to hang out with you no more Let me tell you what's about to go down Because new beginnings are coming I'm telling you, y'all got to believe in 1111 And if you really, really believe in 1111 Cash up your boy $11.11 Because guess what You got to sow a seed You got to be a blessing To eliminate the stress And understand what I'm saying You have to give in order to receive, baby I need everybody to shout out to the WTC family because we got some new members that just joined the WTC game, baby. That's right. If you guys would like for me to be your mentor, send your boy an email, Jordan underscore Howard 18 at yahoo.com. Let me tell you something. You have to learn how to move different from these people out here, y'all. Everybody not your motherfucking friend. I'm going to keep it real with the people. Everybody don't got your best interest at heart. You have to learn how to escape these Decepticons and do not look back. Because I'm telling you guys, it's so much reward for you guys waiting for y'all. So much abundance and prosperity. God got so many blessings just in store for y'all. He can't even fit the majority of the blessings in the storage room no more. Y'all got to come get these blessings. Understand where I'm coming from. And everybody is not going to get blessed like you. That's why you become the enemy. Everybody not receiving the blessings of the Lord because we already know the blessings of the Lord makes rich. So shout out to the people that really believe in 1111 because let me tell you something about the 1111. Every time you see 1111, just say, thank you, Lord. Reach up and grab your blessings every time you see it. Because I'm going to tell you what, if you don't go for new beginnings, you're going to be stuck in the same situation year after year after year. Don't you want to come out your situation? Don't you want to go to the next level? I know I do. Come on now. I'm trying to go to the next level. Life is worth living if you just keep going for your dreams. If you're going for your goals, put down that whack ass nine to five and you might as well start your own business. Because let me tell you something, your boss would never pay you to be his motherfucking neighbor. And I'm just speaking straight facts. That's right, I'm going hard on a rainy day. Because let me tell you something, what God got for me is for me. And what God got for you is just for you. Can nobody take that away from you? So if two or three are people that are gathered in his name, God going to be in the midst. So if you really, really believe in 1111, I have a PayPal and I also have a cash app. Sow a seed of $11 and 11 cents. My PayPal is God will provide three zero. It's the same exact thing as my cash up as well. I'm about to tell y'all God is getting ready to do some new beginnings. I'm not going to be long on this video because I want to get the point across. Understand where I'm coming from. 
because you're not doing what they're doing anymore. Guess what? Now you become the enemy. And you ain't did anything wrong to these people. I'm telling y'all. When you own what they own, you the homie. You the homie. You the homegirl. Let's go hang out. Let's go do this. Let's go do that because we got to go to work tomorrow. I'm telling you, when you flipping burgers with your homegirl, oh, y'all going to be the best of friends. But let you become general manager of that motherfucker and see how she treats your ass then. Because I'm telling y'all, and it's funny because when you're chosen, understand where I'm coming from. When you're chosen, right? You have to know that you're on a whole totally different level from other people. But because it don't matter if, if they moved up before you, you would never have that hatred in your heart. You would never have that jealousy in your heart. Let's keep it real with the people, y'all. Chosen ones, we're not jealous and we don't have no kind of animosity or no kind of hatred towards nobody. We're very, we're forgiving and we will forget about it in a heartbeat. Trust me. That's how you know you're the chosen one. Because we don't harbor on the past. We move on. <laughs> we reaching milestones. We ain't got time to be worried about the past. We ain't got time to be looking back. Because we're the chosen one. God has so much work for us that needs to be done. And just imagine if the chosen one are, is slacking. You know how much work that needs to be done for the Lord? We got to run this race, y'all, until we get to that promised land. I'm telling y'all, man, these spirits are real. Pay attention to people's energy. They know you are going to a totally different level of life. They know it. They feel it. They can sense it. They can smell it. Understand what I'm saying? But let me tell you something. You ain't on what they own. Not anymore. God moved you from that. God had elevated you up already. God has moved you, moved you into to beautiful, beautiful places already. God has elevated you up. You already moved on up. Use the gift that God has given you and get about that situation, chosen ones, and go for your dreams and your goals. Stop flipping burgers. If you still flipping burgers, flip burgers for a little bit. But as soon as you start opening up your own business, let Wendy's go. Let Burger King go. I see a lot of chosen ones that be working at fast food joints too or working at the mall or, you know, chosen ones. You can tell they chosen good energy. And, you know, I'll be telling them like, hey, you know, how long are you going to be working here? And they keep it real with me. Oh, I might just finish college, you know, and because, you know, it helps me with the bills and they're not even knowing they lost. You can tell they chosen, but they lost. God had woken me up. He said, look, son, you're chosen. When you're chosen, God, he going to give you the vision. You got to ask him for it because I was lost at first. I thought working a nine to five was the way to go. I'm going to keep it real with you. I got a job. Oh, I said, I'm going to get two or three, four jobs. I'm really good. But let me tell you something. It don't matter if you got seven jobs. The boss will still never pay you at each of those seven jobs. The boss will never pay you to be his neighbor. I promise you that. How much you want to bet? I don't give a damn how cool you and the boss is. Y'all can go for drinks afterwards. It was one 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 job. It was real cool. And then when we got off, we went for drinks. He was so cool. He was buying everybody drinks. But that labor was a motherfucker. Oh, you will not have a back working at this spot I'm talking about. Oh, you won't have a back. Understand what I'm saying? Y'all get y'all popcorn. Y'all get y'all drink. And it's going down tonight. I mean, my knees was out, my legs was hurt. I could barely walk to the car. He said, come on, let's go to the bar. Drinks on me. He was smart. That was his way of getting me to stay there. Let me make him feel like his family. But knowing damn well, y'all not going to raise me up. Y'all want me to slave in that goddamn kitchen. I mean, I, I mean, don't get it twisted. I was a workaholic. I still did the work. I really grinded, y'all. Y'all ain't going to, I'm telling you, I'm not sitting up here telling y'all no story. I mean, I really grinded. And have to get back up the next day and the next day, five days out of a week. And people was looking at me like, wow, this guy, he likes to work. He know how to work. But shit, y'all killing me and y'all not giving no raises. Let's keep it real with the people. You get you getting good customer service. The, your station is clean. I was just like my auntie. I'm bleaching everything. Bleach and Clorox and dish liquid. I'm clean. That boss walked through that kitchen. He said... It smells like heaven. He, he didn't say much. This is how successful people act. I'm not like that. I'm cool as fuck. Y'all meet me in real life. You're like, nigga, you the coolest motherfucker I ever met. But I'm not no fool. Understand what I'm coming from. But let me let you know something. His, his old short, bald head ass, he'll walk through that motherfucker and won't say a word. 
you know, you, you, you smelling bleach and soap and and, and, and and the walls is white. Understand what I'm saying? He that's you know, he pays attention to how his money coming in. So that kitchen dirty, he know he ain't getting no, no more customers coming back. People pay attention when they come in your restaurants. Is there any rats? Are they cleaning up behind themselves? Are they taking trash out? He walking through that motherfucker. Who messing up my paper? The CEO of the motherfucker. Fuck the CEO, the owner of the motherfucker. That motherfucker was walking through that motherfucker like Bob, the motherfucking builder himself. But he was very old, very wealthy, but did not say not one word to you. I would look at him right in his eye. Yeah, it was me. Understand what I'm saying? Yes, it was me, sir. You know, I'm trying to hold my chest out thinking he about to give me a, a dollar or two raise. Yes, it was me. I cleaned the kitchen, sir. He looked at me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Didn't say have a good day. That was his have a good day. Mm -hmm. Got in his nice ass BMW and he got the fuck out of there. That's why I'm trying to tell you the boss would never pay you to be his motherfucking neighbor. Fuck them motherfuckers. These motherfuckers try to play me for years. But let me tell you something. I still gave it my all, y'all. Don't never half step. My granny said, if you're going to do something, do it right. Don't half step. Do it with all you got. And God gonna make it rain for you. God gonna bless you. And as 11-11 just passed, I need everybody to comment 11-11 right now. Because guess what? We're looking for new beginnings. I need everybody to comment 11-11 right now. Because God is getting ready to do some new things in our lives. Amen? And just know that if God is for you, can not one motherfucker on earth be against you. Understand what I'm saying? You have to believe in 1111 because let me tell you something. New beginnings are coming, y'all. New beginnings are on its way. Support the movement. Whatever God, even if you don't have the 1111, whatever God put on your heart to give. My cash app and my PayPal is the same exact thing. God will provide through zero and it will also be in the description, description below. Stop letting these Decepticons take you off your grind. Stop letting these Decepticons disturb your spirit. The thing you used to do, you don't do anymore. Move on. Continue to live your life because God is doing a great thing in our lives. Understand what I'm saying, baby. Any prayer requests, any prayer requests, any testimonies, tell of his goodness. Email your boy, Jordan underscore Howard, 18 at yahoo.com. And I'm going to get you to the next level. And just know if you need a friend, you know you got it in me. If you need prayer, you got a prayer warrior in me. If you need motivation, if you need inspiration, you got the best motivational speaker in the whole wide world. We the chosen ones. Be blessed.